Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host, and on today's How To, we're going to be looking into the stringent requirements from the food and beverage industry and what it's going to take to keep our food safe and not have any more contamination. And helping us out is Dave Felt. He's with Baldor ABB. Dave, welcome, man. How are you? Hi, Tom. It's good to be back. It's always good to have you here. And Dave, what do we need to know? Because everybody out there is always concerned. Is our food going to get contaminated? How do we keep things safe? Well, give, us, give us what we need to know, Dave. Well, Tom, food safety is regulated by the USDA for meat, poultry, catfish, and eggs. The FDA is responsible for all the other foods. A key change came with the Food Safety Modernization Act when it was implemented. With this act, the industry moved from being reactionary when food was contaminated to requiring a more preventative approach to food safety. I mean, that makes so much more sense. Why wait till the food is contaminated? Let's be proactive. That seems very logical. Right. And to help meet these new requirements, industry groups like the North American Meat Institute or NAMI have created important guidelines for sanitary equipment design. Okay. But how does that actually relate to motors, Dave? Well, a motor's performance is important, but motor cleanability has now become critical. Cleanability is the ability to be easily and effectively clean to meet stringent sanitation requirements in support of food safety. Motors with excellent cleanability have visual characteristics that indicate they meet these requirements. These visual cues can help food producers identify whether a motor is appropriate to support the sanitation and food safety program. All right, well, what are some of those visual cues so everybody knows? Well, looking at this motor, right. you see the round body. It's the right. first thing that steps out at you. And the right. round body gives smooth surface, which enables you to not have anything collect on it. Yeah, it would fall off. Okay. Right, right. On the conduit, you've got smooth, continuous welds. Right. You notice that there's a hex head on uh, with O-rings for the conduit closure. Okay. Uh, the windings are fully encapsulated. The connections all have encapsulated connectors for uh, sealing out that water. Right. Drains and hardware are smooth. Another feature is that our footed product has independent feet which allow for easy cleaning under the motor and around the feet. So the features are there to prevent any kind of pooling and, and the growth of bacteria because that's what happened. When stuff sits, stuff grows. Exactly, Tom. Okay. All of these features are to eliminate the ability for food to collect on the motor. When food collects, contamination starts. Okay, I get it. So the motor has to have that feature needed to withstand cleaning. Extremely critical, we gotta bombard this thing, we don't want any contamination. It is. Mm. The standards today are more stringent than ever before. The new level of sanitation is the IP69K test. This test requires a motor to withstand a constant high pressure spray at six inches from the surface of the motor. We've got a video clip to show of just what that tough test looks like. All right, let's take a look at it here. Tell me what's going on. Well, as you see on this video, the motor is on a pedestal and is being rotated uh, as the spray, the high pressure steam spray is being activated and sprayed on the surface of the motor. The great thing about this is there's no open passageway f on the motor for any of this water to get inside the motor. Okay. I'm good. I mean, you've proven to me that the motor has the features to meet the new stringent demands of washdown applications. You could see the way that that was really so close and nothing's getting in there. But aside from that, it's going to be clean, but everybody wants to make sure that the motor does perform as well, Dave. It does, Tom. This motor's mechanical features support the need of cleanability, but it is the design inside that makes this motor perform well. The motor is available one half through 15 horsepower ratings. They are C-face mounted and also C-face without feet. All right, Dave, well, thank you so much. Good information. We appreciate it as always. Thank you, Tom. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can always contact your Motion Industries branch, the one that's nearest you. They'll be able to help you out. Here's our PPE. We didn't put it on today, but we really didn't need it. But just remember, always make sure you have the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. That's priority number one. Number two, Watch more MI How To videos. Go to mihowto.com. You can find them there with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.